Hello, this is Mrs. Piscopo. So today we're going to be modeling some deformation of rock layers. So what we're going to be using to model our layers of rock are these uh, kind of long pieces of Play-Doh that I've rolled out. And for the first part of this activity, I'm going to start by creating some layers. So I'm going to take my rock layers and I'm going to deposit them on top of one another. So just like rocks are deposited. All right, so I've gone ahead and deposited my different layers. So they're, you can see kind of how they look here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a force to them because I'm going to model how um, deformation of these rock layers happens. So you can kind of see how I'm pushing my thumbs in. I'm creating this kind of deformation here. So pay attention to the direction in which that I was applying force to this rock set of rock layers and kind of the order of the different layers. So I've gone ahead and I've sort of undid my layers. So I have them again, they're still nice and flat. And I'm going to create a second set of rock layers here. So I'll take my different layers and I'm going to stack them on top of one another to model the formation of Sedimentary rocks, I think I'm going to put the red one here instead. That way we can see the difference in the colors. Actually, I think that green has a little bit of blue in it from getting stuck together before. So here I have my layers again, and I'm going to do a similar kind of process. So I'm going to exert some pressure on these rock layers. And I'm going to make another kind of fold. So observe where the pressure was being applied again in this example. All right, so this is going to be the last part of our modeling here. So again, I've had my, um, my rock layer separated. This one is a little bit worse for wear, I think, at this point. But it'll be okay. I'm going to make some new layers again. So I'll start with my yellow. The blue on top of my yellow, and then maybe I'll do another yellow, and then a red, and then I'll go ahead and put my green on top here. You can see my layers here. So I again have one, two, three, four, five different layers. So now this time, instead of exhibiting a force that's going to create a fold, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a fault in this rock. So I'm going to squish it together a little just so it doesn't fall over as I'm doing this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of dental floss and I am going to slice through these rock layers. Hopefully I can get kind of a clean cut. This is supposed to be about 45 degrees. If it's not perfect, that's okay. So this side went down, this side kind of stayed behind so you can absorb sort of what happened to these different layers here when this fault occurred and actually broke apart the different rocks. 